Zeroness. Based on Mathematics, Philosophy, and Spirituality. By. Mala Tazbiu. 1. Introduction Asterisk. The concept of zero in mathematics and its significance in philosophy and spirituality. The concept of zero has had a profound influence on mathematics, philosophy, and spirituality. In mathematics, zero is used as a placeholder in our numbering system, and it also forms the basis of the number line, allowing us to understand and compare positive and negative numbers. Zero is also used in algebra to solve linear equations and identify the roots of polynomials. In calculus, zero is used to represent the limit of a function as it approaches a certain value squared. In philosophy, zero has been associated with the void, nothingness, and the infinite squared. Some philosophers have seen zero as representing the absence of being or the void, while others have viewed it as a symbol of potentiality and possibility. Zero has also been linked to the concept of infinity, with some philosophers arguing that zero is a necessary precondition for the existence of infinity squared. In spirituality, zero has been used to represent the divine or the ultimate reality in various traditions, including Buddhism, Hinduism, and Sufism cubed. The spiritual significance of zero is tied to the idea of emptiness or shunyata in Buddhism, which is seen as a way to transcend the limitations of the ego and connect with the ultimate reality cubed. In Hinduism, zero is associated with the concept of Brahman, which is often described as the ultimate reality or divine consciousness. The idea of zero is also linked to the concept of Fana in Sufism, which refers to the annihilation of the ego and the merging of the individual soul with the divine. Overall, while I'm not sure about its influence on art and literature specifically, it's clear that zero has had a profound impact on many different fields. The concept of zero in mathematics is a fascinating one, with deep implications for philosophy and spirituality. Zero is often thought of as representing nothingness or emptiness, but it is also a powerful symbol of potentiality and possibility. In mathematics, zero is the additive identity, meaning that when you add zero to any number, you get the same number back. It is also the multiplicative identity for real numbers, meaning that when you multiply any number by zero, you get zero. In philosophy, zero has been associated with the void, nothingness, and the infinite. In spirituality, zero has been used to represent the divine or the ultimate reality. The concept of zero is thus a rich and multifaceted one that has inspired thinkers across many different fields. The concept of zero has a long and fascinating history. The first recorded zero-like symbol dates back to sometime around the 3rd century BC in ancient Babylon. However, the concept of zero as a number was first developed in India around the 5th century CE, and it was later adopted by Arab mathematicians who introduced it to the West. Zero has played a crucial role in the development of mathematics, particularly in the areas of algebra and calculus. It is also used extensively in computer science and digital technology, where it serves as the basis for binary code and other numerical systems. The history of zero is thus a rich and multifaceted one that has inspired thinkers across many different fields. The history of zero is a fascinating one, with roots in ancient Indian mathematics. The concept of zero as a number was first developed in India around the 5th century CE, and it was later adopted by Arab mathematicians who introduced it to the West Cube. Zero has played a crucial role in the development of mathematics, particularly in the areas of algebra and calculus. It is also used extensively in computer science and digital technology, where it serves as the basis for binary code and other numerical systems. In addition to its practical applications, zero has also been the subject of philosophical and metaphysical speculation. Some philosophers have seen zero as representing the void or nothingness, while others have viewed it as a symbol of potentiality and possibility squared. Overall, the concept of zero is a rich and multifaceted one that has inspired thinkers across many different fields. The invention of zero has played a crucial role in the development of mathematics, particularly in the areas of algebra and calculus. In algebra, zero is used as a placeholder to indicate the absence of a quantity. For example, if you have an equation like backquote x plus zero equals x backquote, the zero indicates that there is no additional quantity being added to backquote x backquote. In calculus, zero is used to represent the limit of a function as it approaches a certain value. For example, if you have a function like backquote f, x, equals, 
x caret 2 to 1, x 1, back quote. You can't evaluate it at back quote x equals 1 back quote because that would result in division by 0. However, you can find the limit of the function as back quote x back quote approaches 1, which turns out to be 2 squared. Overall, zero is a fundamental concept in mathematics that has many important applications in various fields. Zero has a wide range of applications in various fields, including mathematics, science, technology, and finance. In mathematics, zero is used as a placeholder in our numbering system, and it also forms the basis of the number line, allowing us to understand and compare positive and negative numbers. Zero is also used in algebra to solve linear equations and identify the roots of polynomials. In calculus, zero is used to represent the limit of a function as it approaches a certain value squared. In computer science and digital technology, zero serves as the basis for binary code and other numerical systems. In finance, zero is used to represent the absence of value or a neutral position cubed. Overall, zero is a fundamental concept in mathematics that has many important applications in various fields. Zero plays a crucial role in computer science as it represents the off state of a circuit and forms the basis of the binary code that controls computers. Zero is also used as the base case for many kinds of numerical recursion, and it is often used to represent null or empty values in programming languages to the power of five. In addition, zero is used extensively in computer graphics and image processing, where it serves as a reference point for color values and other measurements cubed. Overall, zero is a fundamental concept in computer science that has many important applications in various fields. 3. Philosophy of zero asterisk. The philosophical implications of zero, including its relation to nothingness, infinity, and the void. The concept of zero has had a profound influence on philosophy and spirituality. In philosophy, zero has been associated with the void, nothingness, and the infinite squared. Some philosophers have seen zero as representing the absence of being or the void, while others have viewed it as a symbol of potentiality and possibility. Zero has also been linked to the concept of infinity, with some philosophers arguing that zero is a necessary precondition for the existence of infinity squared. In spirituality, zero has been used to represent the divine or the ultimate reality in various traditions, including Buddhism, Hinduism, and Sufism cubed. The spiritual significance of zero is tied to the idea of emptiness or shunyata in Buddhism, which is seen as a way to transcend the limitations of the ego and connect with the ultimate reality cubed. In Hinduism, zero is associated with the concept of Brahman, which is often described as the ultimate reality or divine consciousness. The idea of zero is also linked to the concept of fana in Sufism, which refers to the annihilation of the ego and the merging of the individual soul with the divine. Overall, the concept of zero is a rich and multifaceted one that has inspired thinkers across many different fields. Philosophical implications of zero are vast and varied. In philosophy, zero has been associated with the void, nothingness, and the infinite squared. Some philosophers have seen zero as representing the absence of being or the void, while others have viewed it as a symbol of potentiality and possibility. Zero has also been linked to the concept of infinity, with some philosophers arguing that zero is a necessary precondition for the existence of infinity squared. Overall, the philosophical implications of zero are complex and multifaceted, and they have inspired thinkers across many different fields. 4. Spirituality of Zero Asterisk the spiritual significance of zero in various traditions, including Buddhism, Hinduism, and Sufism. Zero has been used as a symbol of spiritual significance in many different traditions. In addition to Buddhism, Hinduism, and Sufism, zero has also been used in Taoism, where it is associated with the concept of Wuji, which refers to the state of emptiness or non-being that precedes the creation of the universe. In Kabbalah, zero is associated with the concept of Ain Sof, which refers to the infinite and unknowable nature of God squared. In addition, zero has been used in various indigenous spiritual traditions around the world, where it is often associated with the void or nothingness cubed. Overall, the concept of zero is a rich and multifaceted one that has inspired many different traditions and thinkers. Spiritual significance of zero is a topic that has been explored in many different traditions, including Buddhism, Hinduism, and Sufism. 
In Buddhism, the concept of emptiness or shunyata is closely related to the idea of zero. Emptiness is often described as the absence of inherent existence, and it is seen as a way to transcend the limitations of the ego and connect with the ultimate reality. In Hinduism, zero is associated with the concept of Brahman, which is often described as the ultimate reality or divine consciousness squared. The idea of zero is also linked to the concept of Maya, which refers to the illusionary nature of the material world squared. In Sufism, zero is associated with the concept of Fana, which refers to the annihilation of the ego and the merging of the individual soul with the divine cubed. Overall, the spiritual significance of zero is a rich and complex topic that has inspired many different traditions and thinkers. 5. Zero and the human condition asterisk. The relevance of zero to human experience, including its relation to emptiness, meaninglessness, and transcendence. The relevance of zero to human experience is a complex and multifaceted topic that has been explored in many different fields, including mathematics, philosophy, and spirituality. In terms of emptiness, zero is often associated with the void or nothingness, but it can also be seen as a symbol of potentiality and possibility. In terms of meaninglessness, zero has been linked to the concept of the absurd, which refers to the human search for meaning in a universe that is inherently meaningless squared. Finally, in terms of transcendence, zero has been associated with spiritual practices such as meditation and contemplation, which aim to transcend the limitations of the ego and connect with the ultimate reality cubed. Overall, the relevance of zero to human experience is a rich and multifaceted topic that has inspired many different fields and thinkers.